Hi, so my name is April Anderson and I am the co-owner here at Good Cakes and Bakes. Good Cakes and Bakes has been open for nine years now. We opened in 2013 um, as part of the revitalization of the Avenue of Fashion with grant money provided by Art Place America, which was um, a nonprofit out of New York. And before um, Good Cakes and Bakes, I have an MBA in corporate accounting, so I worked in finance for 17 years. So what motivated me to start Good Cakes and Bakes was my um, love for baking, but also my love for wanting to be able to provide baked goods, nostalgic baked goods that reminded you of your grandparents. So Detroit was picked because this is where I was born and raised at. The Livernois location was picked for two reasons. One is because of the grant money that was over here and opportunity to be able to open up a business over here, but also because the history of the Avenue of Fashion and being able to be a part of that um, history. Yeah, it is a place in the Avenue of Fashion. Uh, we live nearby, so this is a place we get to support. This is products that we like to eat. And the other thing is, we're like a no sugar household, so we try to minimize the amount of sugar it is. So these are always special occasions for us. Whenever we go out to Good Cakes and Bakes, our kids, my wife, and everybody thinks this is like the bee's knees. I guess you would say it, yeah. It's awesome, but yeah. yeah. So some of the biggest lessons that I've learned thus far being an entrepreneur is um, leadership, um, that you have to have different leadership styles um, with employees. Um, I've learned how to navigate the ecosystem in the city of Detroit when it comes to resources and opportunities that are available in the city of Detroit. But mainly we learn to listen to our community, listen to the customers, and be able to provide some of the things that they're asking us for. So like, one of the, the great things about um, this particular uh, establishment is that it, it represents, in my opinion, the ethos of Detroit, one of the unique things about Detroit. I, I moved here from Charlotte, North Carolina, and you know, vast majority of the cities that I visit, you will see the uh, majority of the establishments are uh, franchises. But Detroit in particular is a city that really supports local businesses. It is uh, amazing to see the level of uh, entrepreneurship here. Avenue of Fashion is, is, is one space, I would call it, a, I, and not necessarily like an oasis, but just this like one um, area of the city where you, you see that um, in real time, but in particular, like this Good Cakes and Bakes presents the, like the majority, it's one institution, but it represents this, this commitment to entrepreneurship this commitment to like local people who want to become business owners and want to flourish through, um, a, 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 just using the word, the avenue, if you will, of, of uh, entrepreneurship, which is the new fashion, if, if, if I'm making a, a connection there. But that's, that's another reason why I love the cakes and bakes. So when we first started, I had a total different mindset of what the baking was going to be. We started off being a community space where we focused a lot of our design, our build out was all focused on being able to have a space for people to sit and not a lot of energy on the kitchen area where we were going to be doing the baking. But as time went on, we were realized that we were going to be stagnant and we weren't going to be able to grow if we didn't um, change the bakery so that we were able to have a larger space so that we were able to offer more things to our customers. Customers. And it wasn't until COVID happened that we really had the time to sit down and figure out how we were going to be able to scale and what needed to happen in the space for us to be able to scale. So yeah, so, so we don't have any current plans of having multiple locations. What we do plan is to extend our shipping. So that's why we're building out the 5,000 square foot space so that we can offer um, nationwide shipping. Like I said, currently we ship up to 100 cakes a day, but in this new space we'll be able to get up to 350 cakes a day out of the space. So that is our goal, is to be able to provide baked goods to as many people as we can without having to have multiple locations.